Time to meet our next Ouch patient. Say hello to eight-year-old Phoebe. Hi, come on in. When she was a baby, Phoebe had a liver transplant. When I was one year old, my mum saw some yellow occurring around my eye. Yellow in the white of the eye is known as jaundice and can be a sign of something serious. Phoebe was diagnosed with acute liver failure. That means I'd have to get a new liver. She was put on an urgent transplant list and 36 hours later, she received a new liver. Phoebe's been living with a replacement liver for six years and has to take regular medication to stop her body rejecting the liver. She can't eat an hour before or 30 minutes after taking her tablets. I get really hungry. I bet you do. But it gives her enough time to start preparing something to eat. It's important that I clean my hands because if I've touched something, I could get sick. I can't eat bio yogurts. I can't eat some fruits. I can't and I can't have dippy eggs. These foods are totally safe for most people to eat, but because they contain live bacteria, they increase Phoebe's risk of getting an infection. 30 minutes are up, Phoebe. Tuck in. Yummy. Show me next time for my hospital appointment. Bye. Bye. Ouch. It's time to catch up with eight-year-old Phoebe. Hi, it's me again. When Phoebe was young, she was diagnosed with acute liver failure, which meant she had to have a liver transplant. Although her transplant was six years ago, Phoebe still has to take medication and has checkups every three months at the hospital to make sure she's doing okay. I'm just about to have my phone. Do you want to come with me? What's first, Phoebe? This is the waiting room. It's where I get all my obs done. This is to check my weight, my height and my blood pressure to make sure they're all okay. Perfect. All done. What's up next, Phoebe? This is where I get my liver checked. Phoebe's doctor is checking to see if her liver, spleen or lymph nodes are enlarged. Any swelling could indicate something's wrong with her liver. And now it's off to get a blood sample taken. This is to check that Phoebe's liver is working as it should. Would you like one of our superstar stickers or are you too big for one now? Yeah, I would one. like one. You're never too old for a superstar sticker. It was a fun day at the hospital. It was nice to see everybody. My results are back and they're absolutely fine. Yes. That's great news. Bye, see you next time. See you, Phoebe. <laughs> Meet Rio, Emilia, Phoebe and Alicia. We've been following them across this series as they let us know what it's like to be regular hospital outpatients. Let's catch up with eight-year-old Phoebe. Hi, it's me again. Phoebe had a liver transplant six years ago and she still has to take regular medication, but that doesn't stop her doing the things she loves, like playing with her friends. Hi! Hi. Everyone wash their hands. Phoebe has to be especially careful when it comes to hygiene. It's important we wash our hands so Phoebe doesn't get any germs off our hands. Because you might get germs um, and then you might get ill. Phoebe loves sport and she competes in the British Transplant Games. Sorry! The British Transplant <laughs> Games is for anybody who has had a transplant, even if you're a donor. She's entered the Games for the past six years. I really like taking part in because I like competing against all my friends and there's a good chance that I can win loads of medals. She's good at tennis and she's also really good at running. Phoebe doesn't let her condition hold her back. I have run medals in the past. I've got quite a few here. I won this one for badminton last year. I won this one for table tennis. I won this gold for running. I'm really excited for you to see me next time at the British Transplant Games. Bye! 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 Bye. Ouch! Nice ouch face. Here's Phoebe, our last ouch patient. When Phoebe was younger, she had to have a liver transplant. <laughs> and she's been training for the British Transplant Games and today's competition day. The Games is for anybody who has had a transplant, even if you're a donor. Doctors can transplant part of a liver, as it has the ability to regrow to its full size. A man who died to give me his liver, I got a sixth of it and the rest went to my liver sister, who is called Bonnie. And before she competes, Phoebe receives a special message. Hi, Phoebe. It's your little liver sister in Florida. I'm just calling to wish you the best of luck. It makes me so happy and so proud of you. We have this lifelong bond. 
thanks to the generosity and donation of a liver by a wonderful family. I'll be thinking of you. Mm -hmm. Bonnie's message must have inspired her because Phoebe powers through her tennis. Winning was Phoebe. Congratulations. Well done, well played. So we'll go to my first time. That's good. Next up, table tennis. Phoebe. Double gold medalist. Awesome. Thanks for following my journey. Bye. Bye, Phoebe. And a big thanks to all four of you. You've been amazing, Ouch Patients.